City with Pete Price on Radio City 96.7 and City Talk 105.9. Adam, who is the principal and choreographer of AJ Dance Productions, says, I can't wait for Liverpool Pride. It's going to be an amazing day and I'm very proud to be involved and wish the event every success in the world. All the best. Uh, I've got in the studio with me uh, James, who is the org one of the organisers, Joan, who is from Fact, and Alan, who is uh, a local singer and actor. Uh, let's go to Vicky. Hello, Vicky. Hello, Peter. How Hi. are you? I'm well, thank you. And um, Vicky is from the Chan tra tra Transgender Community. That's correct. Yeah. Um, I was just listening to everyone say that Pride was a gay festival. Um, it's not just. We're going to be there too. <laughs> Um, the transsexual community, the transgendered community, however you want to term. Um, I was part of the winning float at Manchester Pride 2007, and that was a very large pink tank that we happened to drive through the middle of Dean's Gate. A pink tank? A pink tank. A pink tank. Yeah. Where the <laughs> hell did you get a pink tank from? It was bright pink. It wasn't just, you know, sort of a dull off colour pink with the green underneath. It was neon pink. And we took it straight through the middle of um, Dean's Gate in 2007. And the transgender, we were classed as the Sparkle Army. We actually won um, Manchester Pride 2007. Mm, fantastic. So, no, it was a good event. And I do believe that Liverpool pride all these people that say that it's just going to be get it's not pride is a time for the whole community to come together hold hands have a laugh have a sit down have a drink because a lot of the lgbt community only joins up when it needs to so they keep themselves to themselves you have the gay men in one corner um the lesbians in another and i feel that Gay pride, or any type of pride, is just a fantastic time for the whole community to sit down, have a drink and go, hello. <laughs> Uh, Vicky, I think you're making a fabulous point. And just to point out to everyone listening, it's not called Liverpool Gay Pride, it's just called Liverpool Pride for the exact reasons that Very you're talking true. about. Because it's, it is for the entire community, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, everyone and anything, really. It's, and I'm so glad to, that you've that you've called in and made that point because it's a very, very important say, point. It's a celebration. It's a time when we actually sit down with people from the community and ask about their troubles and their life and we see whether ours um, is anything close. Mm. No, I think any type of pride is a fantastic event. It's for the whole community, including heterosexuals, straight people. It doesn't matter who you are. It, the kids love it because there's lots of people with makeup on and eccentric costumes. No, it's a wonderful place. And, to the, odd, and the odd pink tank. <laughs> <laughs> if we're lucky, if we're lucky. I, I remember you, that look, pink if tank. If you look for the Sparkle Army 2007, there's actually pictures of it, people. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it was a very, very good day. We got to march through the middle of Liverpool. The two people who were driving the tank, I believe, had just come back from Iraq. And the next wow. day, Excellent. he painted this tank pink. And off we went down the middle of Dean's Gate. Fantastic. V Vicky, thank you for joining us. No problem, Peter. Uh, 015 on 708 I, I will take Kerry actually first before I read this email out, which is uh, interesting. Hello, Kerry. Hi, are you all right? I am indeed. You go to Manchester with your mum? No, uh, what it is, is I have to buy two tickets because my mum likes to come with me. And there was uh, not a lot. Pride, the pride before, and mm -hmm. um, we were just sat in a bar, and neither, neither Mary Mum drink, so we just sat there. And these two young boys were talking, just started randomly talking to me mom, and she just went, she was just telling them all about like that I'm gay and all that, and they went, isn't it lovely that a mom can go with her daughter and just be so like proud of her and they gave her a pendant That's like nice. a, a pride like um, a rainbow pendant mm -hmm. and like i told her there's a liverpool pride and she's like that right 
where do we buy tickets from? I think it's really important in that case, and I ho hopefully you'll, you'll all be delighted to know that Liverpool Pride's going to be completely free uh, on the Saturday. It's a completely free festival. There's no tickets. There's no wristbands. You can just come along, turn up, have a great time. So you're not going to have to fork out for two tickets. Oh, um, we'll be made up. She'll be right, Joe. She loves it. <laughs> the other thing is, I mean, one of the things we've asked people to do on our website, I and mean, if you go to liverpoolpride.co.uk, there's an option where you, if you go to Our Pride, and we ask everyone to sort of put in why they're proud, and that can be because you're gay, because you're transgender, or because you're heterosexual, uh, and why you're proud to live in the city. Um, and, you know, we just ask people, it takes a couple of minutes, you know, it takes them on about a minute to do, just to say why they're proud, and, and, and we've had some really fantastic things in there, and we've had ones from, you know, from parents and brothers, from sisters, from, you know, children of, of, uh, of gay, uh, lesbian people as well, I mean, it's fantastic. My, sorry, sorry to interrupt. My dad's gone more protective of me since I came out as being gay. <laughs> He's just like, he's, I've just become a little daddy's girl. <laughs> he just has to look after me, everything. Mum, perhaps you should bring Dad down as well as Mum. Definitely. No! I don't know. Bring the boot down. Lies. I think dads get a hard time sometimes. I mean, I know, I know both my parents are planning on coming. Um, people always ask me, does, does my dad know? They all, they all know my mum knows, but they always ask about my dad knowing and they think that maybe there's going to be some awkwardness there, but I don't, he never batted an eyelid and, and is completely accepting of my partner and I think it's fantastic. So I say bring him down. Kelly, nice to talk to you. One part of me family started kicking off when they found out I was gay. Mm. And my dad's like, Dad, you've got something to say, come and say it to me. Mm. That's great having a father like that. Thanks, Kerry. See you down at the Pride. Oh, one five one seven zero eight one zero five nine. Right, I said before, would it be taken over like Manchester with heterosexuals? And when I said that, I meant, um, and I'll, I'll clarify it, and then I'll read the email out. Bar uh, Canal Street in Manchester, many, many hen and stag nights go down there, uh, and an awful lot of them go down to take the mickey out of the queers. Uh, whether people like it or not, it's now been taken over. And it's not as good as it was, and now there's fractions around that area. So uh, the email has come in, and he never signs his name, which really annoys me. He always used marketing exposure. Uh, taking over by heterosexuals. Uh, that one statement defies your pathetic insular attitude. Us heterosexuals are obviously more liberal than uh, your own stigmatized mind. How much you can say about that? <laughs> Come on down. Come and have a ball anyway. I'll sing you a song. It'll be all right. Oh, I wouldn't bother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hello, Cathy. Hi, Pete. Hi, Cathy. Hi, Joan, James, Alan. Hello. Hi, Hello. Yeah. Uh, what a fabulous idea, Liverpool. Well, having them on my programme. <laughs> <laughs> all the <pride. laughs> Yeah, because they've been great fun. Um, no, what a fabulous idea. I'm glad you think so. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's great. Um... I, for number one, I'll be down there as early as possible. Um, I've had gay friends since my, my, my first gay friend was in 1955. Now, that's going back some, isn't it? And it was Brian Epstein. And we became great friends for the, the many years until he died. Mm -hmm. And I was introduced to a lot of gay people, which I absolutely loved. I loved the... Um, the campness you were talking about earlier on. <laughs> I like the humour. Oh, I love it. The, the humour, the, the camp. Um, even at one point, my hairdressers were gay. And there used to be one particular guy there. And he never talked anything. He screamed it and the hands were in the air. <laughs> And I christened him the Screaming Queen. I was going to say, there's <laughs> yeah. nothing worse than a Screaming Queen, <laughs> you as, know, as you know, on a Sunday night on the show. <laughs> I love it. Absolutely love it. So I think it's a fabulous idea. I'm sure there'll be a fabulous turnout for and you. Kathy loves dancing, so she will be dancing. <laughs> oh, I'll be dancing. Oh, yeah. she'll be dancing. <laughs> and it'll be an old-fashioned jive. <laughs> Thanks, Kathy. What love? I said thank you, Kathy. Thank you, darling. Take Good care. Guys, for the 7th of August, it's already down in my diary. Nice to hear from you. Uh, 